Hi Fernando, how are you? Hello teacher, good night. Good night, it's been a pleasure to have you here. How has, your, <laughs> has, your, has been your day? And now, mm -hmm. in the morning, I work on social networks. Okay. In the afternoon, I was designing some posts for a live and vivo broadcast. Broadcast, oh, okay. Uh -huh. That's amazing. The broadcast, the broadcast of the doctor in the, in the clinic of hemodialysis. Okay. okay. I... So este uh, brinda charlas a la gente que padece de, de los riñones. Oh, okay, okay. So they, he gives a, a speech. Yeah, a speech. Uh, a speech, a speech. All right, all right, good. Oh, that's nice. Excellent. Yeah. So you have worked a lot. <laughs> all day, teacher. Yes, yeah. I can imagine that. But now you look at... Oh. Uh, um, less tired than yesterday. And yesterday? Yesterday, uh, you looked very tired. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what that's what I ha that's what I saw. Okay, but today okay. you look fresh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe because you have more, taken a more, shower. More relaxing. More relaxed. Yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> That's nice, and you and you're smiling. Yesterday you didn't smile, maybe because you were tired. Okay, that could be the for reason. For the moment, is for the moment very tired, teacher. Yes, I can imagine that. Yeah, you had to use your eyes, your brain, uh, stay home, and it's really hot. I understand that, definitely. But but the car, but the class, the English is very interesting. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah. so, I'm so glad that you like it because today we're going to work really hard as well. <laughs> yes, definitely. Right, Christian? Hi, teacher. Hi, sir. Good night. How are you doing? Uh, I'd like, like to Fernando. I, I am very, very... Um, Se me fue la palabra. You can do it, Christian. You can do it. Or use a word that you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I was work. You uh, you were working. I was working every day. Mhm. Mm and and I took and I and I write. And you wrote. I wrote. How do you say pedidos? About what? Eh, como cuando usted ordena algo para, para domicilio. Oh, ok. Y usted va a tomar el, el pedido. Yo quiero esto, yo quiero lo otro. Y usted oh, va a you're, tomar you're taking notes. Pedido. You're taking ah, notes okay. for people's uh, okay. inquiries. All, yeah. all day. All day. I, I grow the. I taking, taking notes. You were taking because, notes. Mm -hmm. Because. Um, on the next Saturday, mm -hmm. I will sell uh, seafood. 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 That's nice. What what <laughs> kind of seafood? Um, langostas. Lobsters. <laughs> no, no. I don't. I don't know the 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 names in English. Oh yeah, lobster is langosta. Lobster. Langosta, um, camarones. Shrimps. Mm-hmm. And, and lonja. I mean, lonja. Uh, a fish. fish. A piece of fish. <laughs> yeah, fish. fish. Boca colorada. Okay, that's the name. Okay. Okay. Rebels. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Um, only that. Only, only that, that, but that's nice. That's great. Hopefully, everything goes fine for you and you can sell everything. That's amazing. I wish you could live near my house. <laughs> yes, because everything that you have said, I love it. My husband and I really love uh, seafood. Ooh. Yes, me too. Oh, yes. It's I, delicious. I it's delicious. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, oh, my God, I'm hungry. <laughs> a cocktail. Yes. Uh, uh, Don't be like that, Christian. Soup. 
Don't be so mean. <laughs> oh my okay. God. Gabriel, you know what he's telling us? He's telling us that next week he's going to sell some um, uh, seafood and like yes. lobster, shrimps, etc. So he was taking notes of all the people's inquiries and uh, or, or, or taking notes about people's orders. And he, now he's a sty a, a start trying to tell me, oh yes, I love lobsters, the cocktails, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And like, oh my God, with a soup. I was like, uh, don't say that to me because I can't imagine the, the mariscala, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the cocktail. Oh my god, no way. That's got to. That's to making eat. me crazy. Yeah, I love it. Do you like seafood, Mr. Yes, Gabriel? I like. <sighs> yes, really nice. yes, I like. I like seafood, shrimp, uh, cocktail, mm -hmm. uh, ceviche. Oh, that's nice. I like so much. <laughs> Yes, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh my God. Really good. I'm starting to imagine that. So no way, please stop talking about food. Come on. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're here. Claudita, hi, how are you, girl? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. That's nice to hear. What about you, Ernesto? How are you? Uh, we cannot hear you, sir. How are you? Good evening. Nice. Good night. How are you today? Fine. Fine? And working. Working? Yeah. Oh, working. but... Mm -hmm. yeah. A customer service in email. Oh, mm -hmm. in chats. Like a back office? Le escucho cortado. Can you hear me much better now? No, in home. In home. Ah, okay. You're working at home. Okay. I understand that as a back office, I think. Chats. No? Maybe you need to use your earphones. Yeah, that could be the reason why. Okay, yeah, much better. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Ernesto? No? I don't know what happened. I think it's Ernesto's internet, right? Because you can hear me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that could be the reason why. Okay. okay. That's okay. No problem. <laughs> All righty. Americo, how are you? Good night, teacher. Good night, sir. I fine. Thank you. I, I'm, I, I'm glad. I like your shirt. Your t-shirt, actually. No, me. Your t-shirt. I like it. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Oh, it's How nice. Ah, oh, much better. Thank you for asking. And my health is improving. Okay. It's yeah. Good. Yeah, it's good to be honest with you. Because yeah. today I felt better. I have felt uh, better than yesterday. So that's nice. Thank you so much for asking. Who else is here? Gabby, how are you, girl? Hi, good night. Fine, good night. thank you. That's nice. How is your baby going? Uh, very well, thank God. Oh, that's nice. Give her a hug and kisses, okay? From the English teacher. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Charlie, how are you? Good night, teacher. Good night, sir. It's been a pleasure to have you here as well. How have you been? Um, all day I have a headache. A headache? Yeah. Oh my God, why? Very strong and... Oof. Uh, uh, a day uh, very uh, strange. <laughs> oh, have you, have you take, uh, oh no, yeah. Have you taken any medication? Yeah, teacher. Okay, yeah. And did it work? Uh, uh, sorry. Okay, oh, do you have migraine problems? No, teacher. No? It's really, it's really weird. Maybe it was under, you are, you have been under too much pressure. Could be. Uh, yeah, teacher. That yeah. could be the reason why. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. That's okay. But I'm, I'm so happy that you can join today's class, even though you do not feel so well right now. I'm so happy about it. Okay. So I will lay you on the sofa if you would like to, <laughs> and I will ask you like a few questions. Okay. Don't worry about it. 
Okay, but I really appreciate that you joined today's class, even though you don't feel so good today. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Nadia, how are you? Hi, Nadia. How are you, my girl? I'm fine. That's nice to hear. How is how's your day going? Um, I am a speaker for my team. You're in a speaker, you said? I'm a speaker for my team. Okay. I'm so happy that everybody's here. All righty, Moran. How Hello. are you, sir? Hi, how are you, sir? I'm fine. Thanks. You're fine? That's nice. Yeah. When you're going to change your hat? Repeat question, please. When you're going to change your hat or your cup, when you're going to change it? <laughs> mm, Ga Gabby. Yes. What do you think? Maybe is his um mm -hmm. looky um oh he, his style you see? Like naive. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Now do you understand that? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about your cup. Yeah. Yeah, your cup. Okay. Yeah. That I ask you when are you going to change it? That means uh why you're wearing that? Is because you like it? Is because your is your favorite one? Oh, you haven't combed your hair? What's the reason why? Que por qué uso la gorra para atrás? Uh huh. Porque para adelante se ve rara, entonces me la puse para atrás. <laughs> oh, yeah, you look different, but it doesn't look weird. But it's good. Is this your favorite cup? Uh, is is you is unique? It's unique. It's unique. Wh why? Yeah. Oh, you is the only one you have. Yeah. Ah, okay. But that's nice. That's a nice color, actually. Thanks. Okay, thank you so much for joining today's class. Guys, today we're going to work really hard, as always. Do you remember what will be today's topic? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, different between simple past and past and... Okay, simple past and Christian? And past participle? Mm, no. no. Ah, and start, start good. <laughs> it start good. The first part start is good. good. Yeah, but what is the um, other part? Simple part, simple past versus. What is the topic that we have seen yesterday? And we will continue today. Aha, Gabby, help him. Present perfect. Exactly. Present perfect. Present perfect. Exactly. You were right that present perfect, we use the past participle of the verbs. That's correct. Exactly. But today we're going to work with simple past versus present perfect. What's the difference? When do we use it? Etc. I'm prepared for Moran's questions, so don't worry about it. He will ask a bunch of questions today. I, I that's what I think. And I'm prepared, sir, for you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Hey, Alexander, hopefully nothing happens with the internet, but that's okay. <laughs> All righty. Thank you so much. So, guys, today we're going to make a quick review about uh, general information of present perfect, general information of simple past. Then I will show it to you in a little uh, slate. Basically, the main difference. And guys, we're going to work, okay? As well, we need to develop skills and it's really important that you develop the skills because you are in a, like intermediate model. So that means you need to speak or you need to speak. What do you prefer? Speak, right? So today guys, we're going to work writing activities as well in a speaking activities, okay? And guys, it's going to be so much fun because we're going to basically use a both times at the same, present perfect and simple past. So it's going to be really nice. Okay? okay. 
So I will kill you. And I'm sorry. I, uh, you're going to learn so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Ernesto, can you hear me now? Let me check if Ernesto is able to hear us or not. I want to know that first. I don't think so. Oh, yes. Ernesto, can you hear me? Ah, oh, come on. Yay, finally. Okay, but at least you heard me something. Okay, that's good. But that's amazing. I wish I could have Moran here because he's from the IT department, but I don't. So that's okay. All righty. So without letting you uh, go further, let's start, guys. Let the, let the party start, okay? Okay. Welcome to the jungles. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Teacher, why you are so mean? I'm not mean. I'm good. I'm a nice person. Nobody say anything. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Let me go uh, briefly information about each pertence first. Okay, but let me ask you something, guys. Do you remember when do we use the present perfect, by the way? When something is ending in the past. Uh huh. Uh, present perfect. Ah, uh, sorry. When the past is until now. Ah, very good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You were right, Gabby. That is exactly when we press the present perfect. Okay, it is exactly what I have here right now on my screen. Are you able to see it, guys, by any chance? Can you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. Good. Gabby, could you please be so kind to start reading for me? Oh, okay. sorry. It's not that one. Let, bear, let me one moment. I told, I switched that one, but it is this one. Ah, yes. That's the one that I need first. Go ahead, my girl. What is present perfect? Mm -hmm. We usually use the present perfect when referring to things that start in the past and have a connection to the present. The formation of the present perfect is given below. Exactly, okay, like, exactly like you said, Gabby. It's with, uh, to refer to something that is started in the past but has a connection to the present. And do you remember, guys, which are the auxiliaries that we use uh, with the present perfect? Fernando? Has, have. Plus, Christian? The verb in past participle. Exactly. Okay. For example, we have here a, a simple example. Uh, can you read it for me, Claudita? I have lost my car key. I have lost my car keys. Exactly. He perdido las llaves de mi casa. Oigan bien. He perdido. No perdí. He perdido las llaves de mi casa. De acuerdo con este ejemplo... Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significará? ¿Por qué es que yo uso present perfect and not simple past? Um, Gabriel, can you please read it for me, this one, according to the example? Okay. According to the same example, the person had lost the key in the past and were unaware of when it happened and has not been able to find it yet. Okay, muy this bien. Means, mm -hmm. Go ahead, continue. This means there is a connection to the present because the key is still lost. Okay, para ahí. Very okay. good. Entienden? Por ejemplo, el presente, yes. okay? Ah, él perdió las llaves o yo perdí las llaves en el pasado. Pero todavía no las he encontrado. Quiere decir que aún todavía están perdidas. Por eso uso el present perfect. Porque es algo que me, me pasó pero todavía tiene conexión con el presente. ¿Cuándo va a tener, cuándo va a terminar de conexión con el presente? Hasta que yo las encuentre. ¿Sí? ¿Me entienden? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. yes. Muy bien. Veamos otro ejemplo. Continue reading, please, uh, Gabriel. Okay. <clears throat> Another important factor to bear in mind is that we use the present perfect because we are uncertain of the exact time that an accident occurred. Muy bien. 
También usamos el present perfect para decir que algo ocurrió, pero no damos el tiempo exacto en que ocurrió. Can you please read for me the example, Gabriel? Okay. For example, someone has dropped a pen. Someone has dropped the pen. Alguien ha dejado caer un lápiz. Cero. Okay? Okay. Continue, please, Gabriel. Again, in this example, we are unaware of when the pen fell down. Also, since the pen is still on the floor, we use the present perfect as there is a connection to the present. Exact. En otras palabras, ¿qué quiere decir? No sabemos cuándo se cayó el lápiz, ¿verdad? O lapicero. La cosa es que se cayó. Pero como todavía está en el piso, entonces el lapicero tiene conexión con el presente, porque todavía está allí. ¿Sí? ¿Entienden los ejemplos? Yes. yes. I have tried to make as easy as possible. ¿Está claro, Gaby? Fernando? Yes. Oran? Yes. yes. Charlie? Yes, teacher. Ok, cool. That's what I like. Ok. Vamos con el simple past. ¿Les parece? Uh, wait a minute. Ah, please. ya sabía yo. ¿Qué quieren? ¿Quieren <laughs> copiarlo? Uh, no, vocabulary. Vocabulary. No se preocupen, <laughs> chicos, que, que, que yo esto, como les dije, les estoy diciendo que les voy a mandar el file. ¿Ok? No hay problema. Se los voy a mandar. Pues es que no quiero que copien nada. Porque se los voy a mandar. Chichi, pero usted me lo ha prometido toda la semana. Sí. Pero se los voy a mandar completito. Por eso es que los voy a mandar entre hoy y mañana. ¿Ok? Pero quieres... ¿Quieres, un, ¿Quieres saber un vocabulario? Which word you don't know? Uh, unaware. Unaware. No está. Unaware. Unaware es como que, bueno, aware es como que tú sabes las cosas o estás pendiente de algo. Pero unaware mm -hmm. es que no estabas pendiente. ¿Sí? Ah, okay. Sí, eso es unaware. Ok, thank you. Como no estar atento a, a que suceda mm -hmm. algo. ¿Sí? Any other vocabulary? Teacher. Sure. Nice. Yes, Charlie. Given given below. What dónde? means given below? Uh, Where is it, Charlie? Can you please let me know? Uh, at the second line. Say the formation oh. of the present perfect is it's given, given below. below. Ah, given below. Uh -huh. Es dada a continuación. Mm -hmm. Below, ¿sí? Es dada, given, acuérdense que es el past participle del verbo give, right? Give, gay, given. Y below es abajo. Por eso es que ves aquí las negritas, porque quiere decir que, que chequees lo que sigue abajo, ¿sí? Eso quiere decir. Ah, oh. oh, ok. Ok, Thank you. cool. You're welcome. Anything else, guys? ¿Estamos bien? So far so good? Easy peasy queasy like a piece of cake. Give me, give me. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's work with the simple pass. All righty. Okay, who can read it for me? Christian, go ahead. Okay, what is past simple? Mm -hmm. Simple past is same. The, mm -hmm. the simple past tense is used for actions that started in the past and ended in the past as well. Mm -hmm. In the simple past, there is no connection to the present as in the present perfect. The formation of the present perfect is given below. Very good. Stop there. Okay, you see the, one, you see the main difference, guys? In present perfect, algo pasó, el pasado, pero todavía tiene conexión con el, con el presente. Pero ¿qué pasa con el simple past? La acción empieza en el pasado y termina en el pasado. There is, como dice acá, miren, there is no connection to the present. Yeah? No connection. As in the present, perfect. ¿Sí? Eso es bien importante. Y la formación la tenemos aquí. Si es un verbo regular, vamos a poner el verbo en infinitivo más ed. ¿Se acuerdan? Y si es un verbo irregular, tenemos que aprendérnoslo a guayaba, como se dice en buen salvadoreño, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Muy bien. Veamos, chicos, eh, algunos ejemplos de cómo usar el simple past. Can you please continue reading, Christian? 
Okay, now mm -hmm. let all let us try to understand the use um use uh -huh. okay. throw an expert. I okay. watched the movie yesterday. Okay, uh, let, let's repeat after me, Christian. Now, now, let us, let us, try to understand, try to understand, the usage, the usage, of the past simple, of the past simple, through an example, through an example. Okay, read it again, only you. Go ahead, you can do it. Now, let us, Try to understand the usage of the past or the simple, the past simple through an example. Very good, excellent. Can you please read it for me? Again? Yeah, no, 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 that's okay. Ah, now the, exam the example, yes. Okay, the example, I watched the movie yesterday. Very good, okay. La, la respuesta es, mira, muy bien. Eh, el ejemplo es, yo vi una película, cuando la vi, chicos? Ayer. Ayer. Exacto, ayer la vi. O sea, es algo que yo hice, una acción pasada, y que culminó cuando? Ayer. En el pasado. Ayer. En el pasado, ayer. Porque pasó eso ayer. ¿Lo estoy haciendo hoy? No. 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 Bien, entonces es una acción pasada que tiene su finalización en el pasado. Veamos cómo entendemos esto. Sigue leyendo, Christian, por favor. Ok. Hoy sí vamos a practicar speaking, guys. <laughs> I told you. Good. According to the example, the speaker has completed the action of watching the movie in the specific time, mm -hmm. yesterday. Very good. Continue. This is a special feature feature of the simple past tense as it specifically mentioned the time. Mm -hmm. Continue. Unlike in the present perfect. Okay, stop there. Very good. ¿Por qué yo enfa... Ay, dice Christian. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Glass of water. <laughs> All right, very good. That's great. Okay, guys. Me gusta que lean. ¿Por qué quiero que lean? Teacher, qué mala onda es. No. Quiero que lean primero para que se suelten un poquito. Y no me interesa que vayan rápido. Pero lo que me interesa es que pronuncien bien las palabras. Por eso es que yo les digo, lean. No es porque la teacher no quiera hacer su trabajo, no way, sino que para que ustedes practiquen, ¿ok? Very good. Ok, ¿qué, quiere, qué, ¿qué acaba de decir? ¿Qué acaba de leer Christian? Bueno, si vemos, como dijimos, la acción se completó en el pasado. Y si ustedes se fijan, yo especifiqué cuándo es que yo terminé esa acción. ¿Cuándo fue? Yesterday. Exacto. Entonces, si ustedes se fijan, en el simple past tense, nosotros especificamos el tiempo en que, o, o la, sí, el tiempo, o cuándo es que nosotros hicimos y terminamos la acción. Mientras que en el present perfect, no. El present perfect lo hablamos de manera general. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, yo digo, I have gone to Italy. Yo he ido a Italia. Pero no te digo... ¿Cuántas veces? No te he dicho si fue el año pasado, si fue el mes pasado, si fue hace cinco años. Yo no te digo eso. Solo te digo que yo he ya estado ahí. ¿Sí? ¿Ya? Yeah. Pero si quiero decir, por ejemplo, la misma frase. Yo dije, I have gone to Italy. ¿Verdad? Hasta ahí me quedé. ¿Eso es present perfect? ¿Sí o no? Yes. Sí. Yes. Si uso la misma sentence para ponerla en simple past, ¿Cuál sería el pasado de go, chicos? Went. Went. Entonces, si, entonces, si estamos hablando que en simple past utilizo un specific time para decir cuando yo hice una acción, puede decir, I went to Italy last year. ¿Sí? I went to Italy last month. I went to Italy on May 23. ¿Sí? ¿Me entienden? I'll give a specific time when I have done that action. ¿Me entiende? Esa es una main difference. Muy bien. Sigue leyendo, por favor, Christian. It refers. Okay. It, it refers to something that 
happened in the past and the action has no connection to the present. Mm -hmm. Hence, the past simple has been used. Mm -hmm. Let us assume that the speaker said, I have watched that movie many times. Ajá, muy bien. Eh, ahorita, chicos, les han puesto el ejemplo de lo que yo les acabo de decir. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, la, la oración en simple pass es, I watched the movie yesterday, ¿no es cierto? Esa está en simple pass. ¿Por qué? Primero por el verbo. ¿Qué, qué clase de verbo es este? Regular. 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 Entonces, por lo tanto, para pasar lo pasado, ¿qué, qué tuve que hacer? Agregarle. Ajá. Y como quiero especificar en cuándo hice la acción, ¿qué palabrita usé? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Yesterday. Yesterday. Very good job. Ahora bien, la misma sentence yo la puedo hacer en present perfect. Y que es el ejemplo que acaba de ver, leer Christian. I have watched that movie many times. Cuando yo escribo esta, esta, la misma oración en present perfect, ¿qué significa? ¿Quieres leérmelo, eh, Morán, in this case? I have watched the movie many times. Mm -hmm. Continue, please. In this case, the sentence is in the present perfect. Note how the time is not specified in this example. The present perfect does not give importance to the exact time in which an action occur, occurred and suggests that the person might watch the movie again. This hints a connection to the present. Very good. Okay, vean que es la sentence, esa misma sentence que acabamos de ocupar, que estaba en simple past, la trasladamos a, sim, a present perfect. Vemos por qué está en present perfect, guys. ¿Cuál es la característica del present perfect? Y que está en rojito, ¿eh? ¿Cuál es la característica? Have. ¿Y el verbo cómo está? En pasado. En pasado. Pasado participio. Past participle. ¿Es un verbo regular, sí o no? Yes. Sí. 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 Exacto. Pero ven que yo digo, I have watched that movie many times. En este caso, si ustedes se fijan, eh, en el present perfect yo no especifico el tiempo en que yo vi. Solo porque no le doy importancia a cuándo exactamente ocurrió la acción. Pero cuando dice many times, se, supere, se sugiere que la persona la vio más de una vez, ¿no es cierto? O la ha visto más de una vez. Esto me da una conexión con el presente, porque quien quita que la vuelva a ver? ¿Sí? ¿Me entiendes? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Me, ¿Me entienden la diferencia? ¿Es yeah. clear, guys? Sí. Yes. ¿Sí? Yes. Yes. ¿Ven cómo está? Y, y, Uh, no, no, Claudita, come on. <laughs> no, no, yes. Tell me, Claudita, is it clear for you or no? Uh, no, del todo. Okay. What What is your doubt? ¿Cuál es tu duda or your doubts? What are your doubts? Um, Porque no paso de aquí hasta que no me comprendes. <laughs> no, that's what I am. Sí, I prefiero yo calidad que cantidad. Okay. Um, no. Confused. Confused. Creo no. que tal vez te va a ayudar esta última slide que vamos a poner. No te preocupes. Porque ahorita hemos como visto en resumen cada uno. ¿Me entiendes? Entonces, no te preocupes que yo he preparado algo bien chivo aquí. Ok. Mira qué interesante. Present perfect versus simple past. Vamos a ver cómo vamos ahí. Uh -huh. Claudita. Hoy te va a tocar a ti leer. Can you please okay. start reading for me? Okay. You must, you must always, always use the present perfect when the time of an action is on input or on specific. Very good, on specified. Quiere decir que tú vas a utilizar el present perfect cuando estás hablando de una acción que no te importa cuándo pasó. ¿Sí? No especificas el tiempo. Simplemente nos dices la acción, que la acción empezó en el pasado, pero tiene conexión con el presente. Muy bien, sigue leyendo. You must always use the simple past when that is about the time or place that 
em action uh, are given are are given mm -hmm. or requested uh, occurred ¿Cómo se pronuncia? No, requested requested very good exactly en otras palabras tú vas a usar siempre el simple past cuando eh, detalles del lugar o del tiempo en que ocurrió la acción son dados o, o necesitas darlo, ¿sí? Y vamos a ver una diferencia entre los dos tenses, tenses perdón, in which often an important factor is choosing when to use the, uh, the tense. ¿Y qué es lo que vamos a, qué factor es importante a la hora de decidir qué tense vamos a usar? Si el simple past o el present perfect. Ok, miren este ejemplo. Bien facilito. Vamos a ver. Ay, sí, cómo no, teacher. Vamos a ver. Alexander, my man, Alexander, que todavía está en la universidad. Pero vas a dar cuenta y caso que estás en la escuela. Mira que la diferencia en la actitud de, de esos dos, de esos dos virtuenses. ¿Me puedes leer el primer puntito, please? What did you at school today? Ah, no, no, no. Con, con, con question intonation, please. What did you at school today? No, te faltó el do. Go ahead. What did you do at school today? Bárbaro. Now it is. Very good job. Please continue reading, sir. I use the simple past tense because the question is about activities and the school today is considered finished. Very good. Cuando yo digo, what did you do at school today? Lo que yo quiero saber, chicos, es las actividades que hizo en la escuela. Y, y la escuela ya se acabó porque ya terminó el día de escuela, ¿no es cierto? Entonces, cuando yo le digo, what did you do today at school? Yo me estoy preguntando, ¿qué actividades hiciste hoy en la escuela? Cuando estuviste en la escuela. Ya no estás en la escuela. Ahorita ya estás en casa. Pero me quiero saber las actividades que hiciste. ¿Me entienden? I use the simple past. Pero puedo usar eh, el mismo school today y preguntar otra cosa. Puedo. Hagamos la misma pregunta utilizando present perfect. ¿Les parece? ¿Quién está ladrando, Claudita, tu perrito? Yes. Dígale que no ladre, por favor. <ríe> Ay, qué precioso. <ríe> All righty. Very good. Eh, Americo, can you please be so kind to read it for me? Next question. What have you done at school today? Okay. ¿Qué es lo que, qué es lo que has hecho en la escuela hoy? Miren qué interesante. Dice que I use the present perfect because the question is about results. Yo no estoy preguntando de las actividades, estoy preguntando de los resultados, ¿sí? Que me demuestren los resultados. Si ustedes se fijan, the time at which the question is asked is considered a continuation of the school day, ¿sí? ¿Me entienden? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? ¿Me entienden? ¿Hay algo que no entiendan? Claudita, Fernando, please, I want you to understand. No, teacher. No. Okay. No entiende o, you, o you're okay? Oh. Eh, vaya. Miren la pregunta. Vaya. Por ejemplo... Eh, Christian tiene chiquillos, ¿no? Que todavía están en la escuela. ¿Es cierto? Sí, sí. Ok. Entonces, Christian le pregunta a los niños, Hey, guys, what did you do today at school? O, what did you do at the school today? Entonces, cuando, él, cuando Christian le pregunta a los chicos eso, es porque él quiere saber qué actividades hicieron. Ah, mira, papá, fíjate que hoy recordamos, hoy jugamos fútbol, hoy hicimos esta actividad, este, etcétera, ¿sí? Ellos le contaron lo que ellos hicieron en la escuela. Cuando estuvieron en la escuela. Pero eso ya pasó. Right? Hoy están en su casa. ¿Ok? ¿Me entienden? Ok. 
Pero cuando, cuando Christian le vuelve a preguntar a sus chicos, what have you done in school today? Él quiere ver los resultados. ¿Qué es lo que, qué, qué es lo que hacen los chicos con esto? Le, va, le llevan a Christian los cuadernos para que le muestre lo que hicieron. Si hicieron un dibujo, un recuerdito del día del padre, el día de la madre, lo que sea, les muestran el dibujito. Si sacaron buena nota, le muestran las buenas notas. ¿Sí? Christian quiere ver resultados. ¿Me entienden? Cuando le dice, what have you done at school today? Los niños le llevan materiales libros, cuadernos, lo que ellos han hecho para que Christian lo vea. Entonces, aunque todo eso, los niños lo comenzaron a hacer en la clase, en la escuela, todavía tiene conexión con el presente. Why? Porque se lo están mostrando a Christian, que en este caso es su papá. ¿Me entiende? ¿Hoy sí? Yes. Yeah. Ok. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? All good, teacher. Oh, good. Yeah. Vaya, yeah. muy bien. Y Christian creo que lo entendió muy bien porque he has kids. ¿Verdad que sí? Yeah. Ven, ven la diferencia. Sí, yeah. Yes, Claudita. Ok, va. Dígame. In for past es lo mismo que estuvimos viendo. Es una acción. En, comienza en el pasado y termina en el pasado. Exactly. Presente perfecto. Comienza en el pasado pero ¿tiene algún tipo de conexión o continúa en el presente? Magnífico. Excelente. Exactly. ¿Ya ves? Sí. Bárbara. I know, they, I, I know they will learn it. ¿Sí? ¿Me entiendes? Por eso es que me tomé de hablar en español. Y créanme que me he mejorado mi español con ustedes increíblemente. Yes. Thank you so much. Pero sí, me gusta que me quede claro. Porque imagínate, yo solo te hablo inglés y después, mire, ¿qué aprendí en la clase? Nada. No no, 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 no. Yo prefiero calidad de conocimiento que cantidad. Ok. Ok. Si, tú te, si a ti te dicen algo, tú vas a saber cómo hacerlo. De nada me sirve hablarte todo en inglés si tú no me vas a entender ni jota. Okay. Por eso te hablo un mix, ¿ok? Pero te estoy hablando más español eh, ahorita porque quiero que entiendas bien la gramática. Pero ahorita, chicos, de aquí en adelante, I'm sorry, but I'm going to speak English right now, ¿ok? Are you, okay. are you agree with me? Gabby, Yanita, Charlie, Christian, Moran? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, teacher. All right. Huh, you better. <laughs> yes, Moran. English. What have, what have you done at school today? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Express yourself. How, how, uh, how you see... ¿Cuál, cómo, ¿Cómo lo podríamos traducir? Eh, don't translate in Spanish. Es que me confunde el don con el bin. Why? El, el, es, aquí estoy buscando. El ah. don es, es hacer, pero sería como qué he hecho. Ya, mm -hmm. ya en pasado participio, qué mm -hmm. he hecho. Yes, exactly. Pudiera decir. Es como un que, has, que has estado haciendo. Va, y podría decir, ¿qué has estado haciendo? Y usar el, what have you been done? No. No, 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 no. Ok, don't confuse, because I think you're mixing otro, the verb tenses. Otro tiempo. Yes, you're missing the verb tenses. What have you done at school today? That is a present perfect. If you want to say what you have been doing, that is a present perfect continuous. And we have not seen that yet. Ah, existe. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> uh, I told you that I love grammar. <laughs> I love grammar. I love grammar. You cannot it's imagine. Another tense. It's another bird tense. We have the present perfect. We have the present perfect continuous. We have the past perfect. We have the past perfect continuous. So there is a lot of road to walk. Y el que lleva ING, Continuous. que creo que mencionó. Mm -hmm. no, pero, Person perfect pero, continuous. Pero el ejemplo que yo le puse no, 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 yes, no era is. así. Yes, it no, is. No, no. What have you been done? Ajá, uh -huh. that doesn't exist. Ah. Because it's what have you been doing? That exists. Present perfect continuous. 
Okay. So don't worry, Moran. We're going to see it on next model. I promise that. <laughs> <laughs> and you will and you will say, why I shouldn't you stay with present food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's check the difference really quickly. Okay, guys, we have this is a quick this is like a simple sense. It synthesizes basically the past simple and the present perfect. See? What is the first difference, uh, Fernando? Past the simple. Past simple and um, present perfect. Okay, exactly. Uh, past simple, sujeto, más verbo, más verbo en tiempo pasado. Exactly. Yeah. What, what about present yeah. perfect? In the present perfect, sujeto, más have, más has. Uh, um, verbo en pasado. Exactly. Or ED. ED. Yeah. Exactly. Or, guys, that is for regular verbs. For irregular verbs, you know the rule, right? The past participle of the verb. Very good. Christian, can you please read for me the second one? Okay. Simple pass. Express finish time. Very good. Can I have the example, please? Uh, we live in Japan from 1995 to 1998. Very good. You see, you specify that you lived in Japan from this year to this year. That's it. You, you express the finished time. What about the person perfect? Can you please continue reading? Describe unfinished time. Unfinished time. Unfinished time. Yes. And finish time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I cannot read. What about this one? Okay. What about now? Okay. Yes? Now, now. Cool. I've worked as a teacher since 2011. Exactly. What does it mean? Am I still working as a teacher? Uh, yeah. Yes. That means that. In 2011, I started working as a teacher, but as of right now, I'm still working as a teacher. Okay? okay. That, that describes unfinished time. That activity has not been finished. It started in the past, but continues Continue. right now. Exactly. Very good. Americo, could you please be so kind to read it for me the third one? Refer to the definite time. Refer to define time. Mm -hmm. I saw the Eiffel Tower in 2007. Very good. Now the present perfect place. Refer to indefinite time. Indefinite time. Indefinite time. Mm -hmm. I have seen the Eiffel Tower. Exactly. You see, on the first one, you specify when you saw it in 2007. But the second one, you just let us know that you have seen it, but you didn't let us know when that had happened. Okay? Very good. The last one. Charlie, can you please read it for me? Okay, teacher. Indicate se series of finished action. Okay. First, uh, first, first? The, first, the... He, I don't see clearly. First, he read the book and he, then. Uh, and he watched the movie. Very good. You see, you indicate a series of finished actions. Okay, you have done many actions, but those actions have passed. You finished them. First, he read the book and then he watched uh -huh. the movie. Mm hmm. Exactly. Yeah. What about the el present perfect? Le, el primero leyó el libro y después mm -hmm. vio la película. Exactly. But both, uh, there were two actions that started in the past, but ended in the past. What about the present perfect? Can you please continue reading for me? Okay. Uh, express experience of or result. Mm -hmm. She has already watched this movie three times. Exactly. And you see, guys, we have used already okay that is a word that we have learned that we only use in present perfect okay don't use it in the past simple past because it's not possible 
Okay. So what does it mean? Exactly. He had watched the movie. Now, it's not the first time that, the that she watched the movie, right? But even though she had watched the movie three times, it's a possibility that she will continue or she will watch the movie another time. Okay? Is it clear, guys? Yes. Okay. Now, guys, speaking activity. Okay? Ha, ha, ha. Yay. There you go. A question. Yes, a student. Go ahead. <laughs> Fernando. No. Americo. No, America. America. Yes, go okay. ahead, America. Listen to you. Go ahead. But what the meaning EG to the first of the sentence? Wait, which one? Sorry. Uh in every the sentences. Oh, EG. That is means an example. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's another way. Don't worry. It's an abbreviation. Okay, guys, check it out. I have two columns, guys. I have time expression with past simple. Remember, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, ago could be between 1998 and 2017. And time expressions with present perfect. Gabby, can you please read it for me, the time expression with present perfect? Yes, today. This week, this month, this year, since Janu January 2018. Yeah, 2018 or 2018. 2018. Very good. Okay, guys. Time expression with simple past. Remember, simple past, we use it with, de de with uh, defined actions. Okay, remember that? You see, with finish time and finish actions, okay? You see? And remember, present perfect with unfinished time and unfinished actions. So, what, you, what I want you to do, I want to think about, guys, a, one thing, oh no, three things. Three things for, three, three of, oh, for each of you that you have already accomplished in this year. ¿Qué quiero que hagan? Quiero que piensen en tres cosas que ustedes ya hicieron. ¿Sí? Que ya lograron este año. I will give you, bueno, dos o tres, para hacerlo más sencillo. I will give you one minute, ¿ok? Y ocupen la palabra already, por favor. Quiero que lo escriban. O si lo tienen aquí, that's okay. Okay? I'll be right back with you. ¿Les parece? Already. Three, tres cosas que ustedes ya han alcanzado este año. Si usan already, ¿qué tiempo van a usar? Present perfect o simple past? Present perfect. Present, Present perfect. That's what I want. Okay, guys. Les doy un minuto and I'll be right back with you. Okay, welcome back. All righty. Gabby, yes. can you please let me know three things that you already have done this year? 
or in your life? I have read already a book. I have read already a book or I have, I have already read. Or I already read. I have already read a book. Read or read? Read. Very good. Okay, very good. But it, it will be much better if you put already before have. Okay, I already have. Very good. Second one. I already have. Mm -hmm. You already have a, read a book. Okay. Anything else? I already have studied English. Very good. Okay, you have you already have studied English. Okay, and the last one. Only two. I already have uh, teach my child in home. You you already have taught. Remember that you have to use the past participle of the verb, taught. Very good, very good, Gabby. Post continuing. Okay, thank you, Gabriel, for participating. Go ahead. Use another verb, right? Like, I already gone, or I already, okay. et cetera, okay? Go ahead. Only one, Gabriel. Only one? Yes, only one. Okay. But if you have two, that will be good. <laughs> um, I already have established my office at home. Oh, very nice! That's amazing. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Uh, okay. And another another sentence mm -hmm. is the same like Gabby. Okay. It's, I already have started my English class. Very good. Excellent. I cheater. Copion. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Very good. Who next? Moran, go ahead. Um, I are, have already paid the taxes. You already pays pay the taxes. Yes. Okay. And another one. Only. Only. Okay. Yeah. Good effort, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I'll, you will continue speaking. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, I'll, I have another exercise for you. Okay, Christian, what about you? Okay, I I have already. I already stay, have. I already have stayed at home for okay. quarantine. Okay. Any other one? And I already have finished Finish it. English platform. Platform. Okay, very platform. good. That's nice to hear. Excellent. Um, Claudita, it's your turn. Um, I already have nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. <laughs> and, and another one? <clears throat> Only. Only, okay. What about you, Fernando? Okay, teacher. I already have designed the restaurant website. Wow, you already have designed it. That's amazing. Excellent yeah. job. And the other... Okay. I already have the read a history book. Okay. And I already have the clean in my room. Oh, <laughs> finally. Your mama will show this really happy with you. <laughs> yeah, very good job. Okay, Charlie, what about you, sir? What do you have um, for me? I already finished my homework. Very good, excellent job. And I already drunk one coffee this morning. Oh, that's amazing. That's a, oh, oh, you have already taken, it's more, it's more better. I already taken a cup of coffee. Oh. Already taken, very good. Who else is missing? Uh -huh. Alexander, go ahead, sir. I already have finished a baking course. Oh, good. Okay, very good. Alex, what about you? 
Uh, I already lost 30 pounds. Yay, yeah. that's really good goal to reach. Uh, congratulations. Thanks. I think me too. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it's better. That's yeah. great too. <laughs> Not really, because I don't like to see myself so skinny. Uh, well, yeah, I prefer look, look better, look yeah. better. Yeah, I prefer feel better like a healthy way, but yes. I lost my my J Lo hips. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes, how is first? <laughs> Definitely. Okay, Nadia, what about you, girl? I already have lost weight. Okay, that's good. I already have two venue massage. Okay. I already have a clean of my house. Very good. Excellent job. Now, guys, do you remember the little square that I showed it to you with the different expression of simple past and present perfect? perfect. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So, guys, I'm go I want you to, set to give me one sentence with each word. With each word in simple past and with each word in simple present, in present perfect, sorry. Vamos a, a ocupar eh, las, ¿se acuerdan que podemos usar para decir cosas que, se, que ya hicimos y cosas que no, es, no especificamos en un tiempo? ¿Sí? Present perfect es cuando no, dis, no, no dices el, el time en que hiciste la acción. On definite time. The simple past, okay. and you say it. ¿Sí? Entonces, I need a sentence for each expression. ¿Me entienden lo que van a hacer? ¿Sí? Ok. I will share my screen with you. ¿Con quién vamos a empezar? Con Mr. Moran. Uh, yes. eh, anteriormente estábamos viendo uh -huh. el uso de la palabra ready en Paz Simple. ¿Cómo? No, ¿verdad? Eh, con el present perfect, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Already. Ajá. Already. Uh -huh. Ajá, el, el, pero eh, lo que pasa es que se estaba diciendo I already y luego el verbo, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero estoy viendo acá el que primero va por he, he has y luego el already y luego el verbo eh, Ajá. Pas, en pasado participio. Se recuerde que la palabra already la podíamos ocupar en cualquier parte de la oración. Yes or no, Gaby. Sorry. Que already lo podíamos poner en cualquier parte de la oración, menos, menos en que al final. Exactly. So you can pero use estaría it. bien que lo use. Sí, estaría bien, pero se oye mejor okay. de la otra manera. Ok. Uh -huh. sí. Menos al final. Ahí no. Okay. Ahí sí suena rarito. Muy bien, Christian. Can you please tell me something that you did yesterday? I did yesterday, mm -hmm. okay. Use the simple past. I, I cook, I cook, I cook my dinner. Very good. Uh, Gabby, something that you did last week. Um, I cleaned my kitchen yesterday. Yesterday? Okay, what about last week? I um, cook pupusas last week. Yay, very good. Uh, Charlie, what about you? What things that you did last month? I, I washed uh, wash, uh, my car. Okay, last very month. good. What about Moran? Something that you did last year. I traveled last year. To where? In Guatemala. Ah, uh -uh, to Guatemala. That's amazing. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is, I'm not going to ask this to Fernando because Fernando is too young. Claudita, do you remember something that you did or things that you did between 1985 and 2017? Algo que hiciste en medio de esos dos años? Anything. I... I started. Okay. Between 1989 and... 
2017. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> Very good job. Excellent. Okay. Now let's practice present perfect, guys. Charlie, what what have you done today? Algo que empezaste uh, en el pasado, pero que todavía no lo has terminado. Uh, Hoy. Present perfect. I. I have. Take. Uh, take. More pills today. Uh, you have taken. Taken. Mm -hmm. I have taken. More pills more, today. More pills today. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, but that's true. Okay, Alex, what about this week? Um, I have to make some reports from the state. Okay, very good. Thank you. Alexander, what about this month? Uh, I started watching a series last month. A present perfect. I started watching. I have. I have watched a series last month. Okay, this very month. good. This year, Christian. This year. Mm -hmm. Okay, I. <laughs> I have been in class, English class. I have been in English class. Ah, oh, very good. You have started, but you have not finished. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando. Something that you have done since January 2018. Um, I have been worn at this table since <laughs> January. <laughs> oh my God. Gen January, thing at Gen Gen January. You, okay, 2018. You have been. 2018, yeah. Have, oh my God, I'm really sorry to hear that. Okay. <laughs> Very good, guys. Okay, do you like to practice that? Yes. Yes. Would you like to do one practice more? Well, one more practice? No, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I answer for you. <laughs> okay, no, okay, don't worry, guys. You know what? Everybody was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, look, I understand you're tired, but I really appreciate that uh, all of you joined today's class, even though some of you um, basically just log off from your shift and then log in back to the class or you haven't have your uh, your dinner, or you're sick like Charlie, or you're tired. But I really appreciate it that you join uh, today's class or e each class every day. It shows your effort, your commitment, and you're willing to learn, which I'm really happy about that. Especially Gabriel, that I love his backgrounds. You know what, Gabriel? That calls yeah. in Spanish Aurora Boreal, isn't it? Yes, yes, like that. My yes. father yeah. saw that. Oh, great. Mi padre lo vio. I would like to see yeah. that. Too. You know what? I was... Um, Someday. <laughs> let me check how old I was. I think I was six years old. <laughs> Can you imagine? That was a mm -hmm. long time ago. And my father had Where? had to travel to um, Holland. Holland? Holland, no. Yes. So basically, he took a trip. Uh, to South America, and of course, right, he had to pass through Chile, right? And in that time, yeah. it was really nice because that day, oh, well, it was not a day, that time, because first was day and then was night. Uh, yeah. That was really nice. But he <laughs> could, uh, well, he, ha he, he had seen, he had seen the Aurora Boreal. That was great, amazing. Great yes, you, only man. once. <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice. I wish I it's could have seen tough. that. Yes, I wish I could have seen mm -hmm. it. But no, uh, I'm not lucky as my father. But maybe one day. <laughs> one day, one day. Yes, maybe. Maybe. Who, who knows, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. someday. Okay, guys. So I will send you the the file for the PowerPoint file. We have all the information that we have seen in this week. This week has been present perfect, right? And also, guys, I will send you a link for you to practice writing. Okay. Writing, simple past, and present perfect. Okay? You will practice that. And 
and, and you will be able to get used to it, okay? Because it's different when you speak, that is different when you write, okay? So I'm going to send you the links between today and tomorrow. I wanna know if you have any questions so far, any doubts regarding the class, of course. No? Yes. Today is the last day of class? <laughs> yes. Yes. Today is the last day. Um, yes. So please, guys, this week you need to complete the platform exercises. And if you sure. have not sent out papers, you will need to send the documentation. Yes, Charlie, go ahead. Listen to you. When uh, start the next level? That will depend on you guys. As soon as you send all the documentation and all the paperwork, as soon as the better. Ah, okay. And I don't know if I'm going to be your teacher. I don't know. Nah, I hope it's not okay. <laughs> you don't want to be with me? That's okay. Don't worry. We send a letter. We send a letter. <laughs> you, send a, you can be with somebody else. Don't worry. All the teachers are really nice and you will learn a lot with all of them. All of them are really good. My coworkers. Yeah, they really love to teach. That is one of the clue. But if you want to be with me, that's okay. For me, it's a fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm welcome. But it, it doesn't depend on me. Okay, don't worry. I, I wish. Right, Moran? But with, with Moran, I have been like two or three models. Sir. Two, right? Uh, three. Three. Oh, three? Really? Yes. yes. Oh, my God. You see? And the next uh, four? Oh my God, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I wish I could have you. Even though you ask a lot of questions, I love you. Don't worry about that, okay? <laughs> I don't hate you. Of course, mm -hmm. I love you because the more questions as you ask, it's really great because also you help your coworkers or your classmates as well. So that's amazing. Okay? Continue doing that. Don't worry about it. I don't get mad at you. Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, thank you. You explain very good for, for us. Really? You like the, the way that I explain it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, teacher. Good. Sometimes it's really hard to cancel the topics, right? Because it's, um, it's easy when you already know the language and when you already use it every single day, because I speak English every day. But um, mm -hmm. different is to transmit the knowledge that you have to somebody else. That is totally different. You could be a master degree in whatever topic you, you, you think about it. But it doesn't mean that you will be able to transmit your knowledge to somebody else. It's totally different. Being a teacher is different. As simple as, as simple is much better, okay? As simple is the best way. Simple way, okay? Well, I'm glad okay. that, that you like my class and that you like me. Hopefully, I can be with you next model. If not, it was a pleasure to have you in my class, okay? You are my babies, and I love you so much. Thank you, teacher. Okay, hugs Thank you, teacher. and kisses. And, and see you next model, hopefully. Have a great weekend, okay? And spread my files, okay? Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sweet dreams. Bye.